Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. He is here just for you. For you are His and He is yours. Heavenly Father, help me to be still now. Quiet my mind as I release the troubles and worries to take hold of your word instead. Speak to me, O Lord, for your servant is listening. After his resurrection, Jesus spoke to Mary Magdalene in John chapter 20 verses 15 to 17 saying, Why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. When you reflect on God, how personal do you think he is? How much do you think he cares about you specifically? After his resurrection, Jesus had a very special message for Mary Magdalene. I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. What joyful words! Jesus has opened the way for sinful people to be with and know God just as he does. God is now your God. The Heavenly Father is now your Father. Jesus called Mary by name into this new life of personal intimacy with the Creator of all life. He does the same for you tonight. The Lord God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth, the seen and the unseen, is your God and Father. Jesus has made the way for you to come and know him for yourself. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. 
when you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Rest now in the sanctuary of God's presence, where he is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in and out. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for knowing my name. You have given me a place of honor in your kingdom that I can call on you, my God and my Father. Lord God, all authorities, powers, dominions and thrones must bow down before you. And yet I can claim you as my own. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Jesus says in John chapter 14, verses 6 to 7, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, because of Jesus, I do know you, and my place in your home is secure for all eternity. As I journey through each day and night, may my hope in you burn ever brighter. Thank you that as I sleep tonight, you will hold me close. Amen.